Welcome to the Horizon Newscast for the week of April 8th, 2013. I'm Cassidy Teak. Just how safe is IU Southeast? Shelby Orange looked into just how safe our campus is and the process that takes place when a report is made against a student. I was able to speak with Director of Life and Housing, Amanda Stonecipher, not only about the process, but also about the concern of student residents' well-being. Um, whenever there is an alleged violation of university conduct, uh, we follow up with our students um, just to really find out what happened and to help protect all of our students involved. And so what happens is when we receive a report um, about alleged misconduct, that report can come from a staff member, a student staff member, the police, or another student. And if there's anything in that report that is an alleged violation of university policy, we call the student in and meet with them. And they are called in via a letter as well as an email um, to their IUS email account. And we call them in and we meet with them. And the goal of that meeting is to find out whether or not university policy was violated. In 2009, there was a record high of disciplinary referrals for infractions against liquor laws. The total number of infractions was 53. 52 of which were on-campus residents. For more serious situations, um, I will say I've been very impressed with our students that they do come to our conduct meetings respectful and ready to have an open and honest conversation. Um, some are fearful because they feel like they're getting, getting in trouble, um, but we don't approach it that way. We approach it as though we want them to best acclimate to the community, um, to be a responsible citizen of our community. So. We don't ever use the words like you're in trouble, but sometimes that's the attitude that that comes in with the student. For more information about the previous crime years, go to ius.edu backslash university police and hit the link for crime statistics. I'm Shelby Orange, The Horizon. You can always file a report in the lodges with your CA or call the campus police through their anonymous tip line at 948-0684. As part of the campus's commitment to diversity, IU Southeast held a discussion looking at biases in language. Callie Schmucky spoke to those students who attended. Seth Chellenpalm conducted a diversity seminar about biases in language for students that hold leadership roles in organizations on the IU Southeast campus. He explains the importance of demonstrating proper communication skills to both current and new students transitioning to the IUS culture. Differences should be mentioned only when relevant. So this is probably the classic, um, you know, when you describe someone and you all of a sudden call him an Asian person and his ethnicity has nothing to do with why you should describe him as Asian. That's, that's an example of that. Um, you know, only be specific when you need, when it's relevant to whatever you're describing. Knowing what to call someone will help an individual and in a leadership role gain respect as a leader. Chellen Palm said a student considering joining an organization will look to the leader of the group for cues when it comes to writing, speaking, and leading the group. If some of you are thinking, so you actually want me to ask someone, have a conversation with them about how they want to be called, preferred to be called, that's actually what you should do. In the academic world, that's actually what you should do. Group discussion focused on specific ways IU Southeast should handle diversity on campus and make all feel welcome. Dylan Kidwell, president of the Gay Straight Alliance, said why he felt it was important for people to understand language. I think it's very important for other groups to realize that if someone who is different wants to join their group, there's this different type of language and a different type of way you go about speaking with other people. And that's something I think that was really good from this um, that I learned. With the amount of resources available to students, Kidwell feels much improvement has been made towards the issue of diversity. I think with this campus, um, we've come a long way, and especially since I've been here for about two years, I've noticed a big change. I'm Callie Schmucky with The Horizon. For more information on the diversity program, visit their website at ius.edu slash diversity. The Bar Gallery in the Ogle Center is featuring the Bachelor of Fine Art Graduating Student Exhibition. Kate Smith spoke with a student about her works in the showcase. Mary Phelps, a art major, has two projects on display in the Bar Gallery for her senior showcase. I talked with her and got the story behind her work. Um, I've been working from Spanish stories for the last couple of years. I read them and then uh, make installations from the scenes that I really um, enjoy in them. Mary Phelps said that she draws her inspiration through a genre called magical realism. 
the stories that I read are in a specific genre called magical realism, and they're concerned with blurring the lines between illusion and reality. And I've been trying to work towards that with my own uh, artwork. And so parts of this is painted and made out of um, pink insulation foam, and parts of them are real objects. There were three other artists' work in the bar gallery. Mary Phelps said how she felt very lucky to be in the same showcase as her fellow seniors. We um, collaborated on the space together and split it up, and I think everything goes together really well. I think that we look like a collaborated show rather than just four students in a space. Um, I feel really lucky to be showing my work with these other three people because they're very talented. From the Elgo Center, I'm Kate Smith, The Horizon. The second group of students' showcases will be displayed April 16th through May 9th. Here's a look at the upcoming events this week. The softball team will play Asbury on Tuesday at 2 p.m., while the baseball team will host Oakland City on Wednesday at 7 p.m. On Saturday, the History Club is hosting a trip to the Fraser History Museum to attend the Spirit of the Passage exhibit. The bus leaves from McCullough Plaza at 11.30 a.m. and will return to IU Southeast at 3.30 p.m. Admission is $10.50, but free with an IUS membership. For more events this week, check out the IUS campus calendar. Thank you for watching the Horizon Newscast. For more on all things IU Southeast, visit our website at iushorizon.com or pick up a copy of the newspaper. Again, I'm Cassidy Teague. Have a great week.